Hello, this video will demonstrate how to enable human resource management system or HRMS integration in AD Manager Plus. Using AD Manager Plus, you can synchronize the Active Directory database with employee records by integrating it with HRMS applications. By enabling the integrations, you can automatically create users in AD, Microsoft 365, Exchange, Google Workspace, and Skype for Business as soon as a record is added to the HR application. Second, modify employees' memberships to groups and file server permissions to reflect the changes made by the HR based on role or department changes. And thirdly, immediately delete users' AD accounts, remove Microsoft 365 licenses, export mailboxes to PST, and more when a record is deleted in the HR application. Here's a short demo on how to set it up. Log in to AD Manager Plus, navigate to Automation, and then to HCM Integrations, and click Custom HCM. Enter a name, a description, and upload a logo. Click Save. Click to configure. Select the authorization type from the drop down menu. Enter the key, value, and the add to fields. Click configure. The authorization type can be defined based on the API and the HR application. Click Add API Endpoint. Enter the URL of the HR application in the Endpoint URL field and choose Get as the method in the Advanced Options. However, depending on the API use, you may need to choose Post. In the Header section, enter the Authentication token. For the parameters field drop down, select page. You can add multiple parameters by clicking the plus icon. The parameter value can be defined based on the API and the HR application. Check the box next to repeat calling this endpoint and increase the parameter value by one. Choose up to parameter value from the drop down list and set the value as total pages. Click Test and Save. In the following section, you can map the attributes in the HR application to Active Directory. Enter a suitable configuration name and description based on the action. Select user automation from the automation category dropdown since the action is user creation. In the API endpoint configuration box, select ID from the dropdown list. Finally, you can map the LDAP attribute names with the HR application column names. Click Save. That's it. Now, whenever an employee record is added to your HR application, a user account for the employee will be created automatically in Active Directory. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.